Hey guys, welcome back to Robo. Hope you guys are doing well, staying safe. And today in this video, what we're going to show you is how to program the Pico on Python from your Windows device. So stay tuned. So what we're going to show you in this video is two codes and those two codes are going to be on what is mounted on the Pico already and that is one is the temperature sensor and the other is an LED that is mounted on. So we're going to program the temperature sensor and just read the temperature around in this room and also blink the LED like toggle it on for like a few seconds or something like that. So let me just straight jump into my laptop and also before we get started please download Thorny ID. Uh, the link to download Thony will be in the description because we're going to code the Pico on Thony from our Windows device. Also, if you don't know how to connect the Pico to your device, what you have to do is keep pressing the boot cell button and then insert the micro USB cable. And after you've done with it, just release and then it, the Pico will be recognized as a mass storage device onto your laptop. And what you have to do is just drag and drop the MicroPython you have to file onto the Pico as the mass storage device and then your Pico will start running MicroPython. The link to download the UF2 file is also in the description. Check it out. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to program the temperature sensor that is mounted on the Pico so that we can just read the temperature around this room. So if you can see over here, I've started Thony and what you have to do is go to run and interpreter and just select Raspberry Pi Pico as your interpreter because then the Thony will understand that we're coding this onto our Raspberry Pi Pico. And then if you can see down here, we have Raspberry Pi Pico with RP2040 and we can just start coding. So we're going to start and it's import machine and import uTime. So what these two commands are going to do is just import the machine, everything, the libraries from the machine and also uTime is a library so that the, it's a time library. Next thing is sensor temperature and it is machine.adc and 4 I feel. And then conversion factor is equal to 3.3 by 65535. So what the conversion factor is, we're going to convert this into degree Celsius and because that's what we want our temperature to be in and while true, I'm going to use a while loop and reading is equal to sensor temperature dot read underscore u16 into conversion factor. So this is the formula, this is what it's going to read and that is how it's going to see what the temperature is and everything. Um, then temperature is equal to 27 minus reading uh, minus 0 0.700 divided by 0 0.001721. So this is the temperature, this is the reading that will happen and the temperature will convert it into like the degree Celsius that we want. Uh, so that is the formula. These are just formulas. Print temperature. Wait, just oh yeah. temperature. And um, I feel u time dot sleep. Let's give it as two. So every two seconds, um, this is going to just read the temperature. So it's going to run it. And if you see over here, it's 19.34, 18.7, 18.87. That's the temperature and that's a very simple code to just run and just find the temperature in your room. Very simple code, just the basics and this is how you run MicroPython or Python onto your Pico. So the next thing that we're going to run is the blink code. We're going to toggle this LED that is on to the Pico and we're just going to turn it on and off. Just toggle it on and yeah, let's get is very simple code. Let's just straight get into the code from machine import pin because we just want that one and from time import sleep so you're gonna make it sleep for like a couple of seconds and then toggle it on and off led is equal to this is gonna define led is pin 25 comma pin dot o u t while true led dot toggle and sleep for 0 0.5 seconds so what it's gonna do is just gonna toggle the led on and off every 0 0.5 seconds so you just run it Save it as I by Pico. Just save it as blink led.py. Yeah, just save it. And if you can see over here, the LED is now blinking. And that was it. Those were two very simple codes about how to just program the Pico onto your Python and just turn on your temperature sensor and your LED. 
a very simple course you can try it out yourself if you have a pico and if you already don't know how to set the pico up onto your windows system for to program it on c and c plus plus and everything we made an entire video on that you can check it out it's very comprehensive and also if you haven't checked out on how to program and set up your pico onto your other raspberry pi devices for example a 4 or a 400 made a video on that too just check it out right here and yeah that has been it if you like this video and if you first found it helpful leave this a like share it with your friends and also comment down below what other videos would you want us to make if you want us to make more projects on the pico let us know in the comment section down below and subscribe if you already haven't we're coming up with something really exciting next week so just subscribe for that and that has been it thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time